Let's talk about the news. Let's talk about the absolute chaos that is affecting this country. And man, the spark of civil war never seemed closer. We got this from the BBC. Now, I, I chose the BBC on purpose because it's not an American news outlet. So I was really interested in how they would frame it, especially considering kind of left establishment. They write, Steve Bannon, Congress plots criminal charge for former Trump aide. Mr. Bannon has, has been summoned to testify before the congressional panel investigating the riot on Thursday. He did not appear, prompting the head of the committee to schedule a Tuesday vote to hold him in critical, criminal contempt. If con- convicted, Mr. Bannon faces a fine up to one year in prison. Democrats say he is trying to delay the probe. Mr. Bannon, a former right-wing media executive who became Mr. Trump's chief strategist, was fired from the White House. Yeah, yeah, we get it. He was asked to testify regarding his communication with Mr. Trump a week before the incident, as well as his involvement in discussing plans to overturn the election results that saw Joe Biden in the White House. I don't, I, I don't know if that's fair framing. He sought to overturn the election results. He certainly thinks there's widespread fraud. But what they're doing is there was this thing he said where he was like, you know, I was there and I was talking with Trump right before the rally and like helped organize it or something. And they're trying to take that and reframe it as though he said he organized the riot, which he didn't. Now, my big, my, the, the, the bigger thing here to me that's scary, establishment Democrats and for all intents and purposes, Republicans, but they're actually Democrats, are now actually going after people. They're going after private citizens to force them to testify in their, in their crackpot probe. This, if they actually come and arrest Bannon over this, it's, it's like we're dangerously close, in my opinion, to a spark of, of some kind of civil war. Um, I, I, I wouldn't be quite so pessimistic in the short term because I think ultimately the, the amount of time it will take them to even get to the point, right? Like ch- Congress doesn't have the ability to charge somebody with contempt or prosecute them, right? They re- re- they're relying on referring it to the U- U.S. Attorney of D.C., and then that actually has to go through normal criminal process. Um, Bannon's not just ma- making a claim that basically he's not ma- he's making a claim like I read the lawyer the letter he sent to his lawyer or his lawyer sent to the Congress, and it, he's they're claiming look the you know the president's claimed his executive privilege, and I'm as an aide to him or somebody who you know was talking with him I'm bound by that I'll ha- be happily to produce the documents if you come to an agreement with the Trump you know the Trump people or if you get a court order saying so um under those circumstances i don't know if they're gonna be able to prove criminal contempt it'll take a long time to get proven but i think the really big problem here is you know you notice what they're talking about what is the january 6th commission about is it designed to help with any legislative purpose no no it's it's, it's it th- that and that's the bigger issue right yeah i'm not saying that we're at the point where you know all of a sudden we're going to see another you know cnn showing up at six in the morning to bannon's house or anything like that but we're 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 moving from we had in the Trump era lock her up you know arrest Hillary Clinton and a lot of people being like yeah she should be arrested I mean she should be locked up for the email scandal at the very least let alone uh, lots mm-hmm. of other things that went down with with uh, you know the Clinton Foundation and serious things that should be investigated and now we're moving towards people are actively cheering and screaming on both sides for the arrest of the other side like yeah. I can't imagine regardless of who's right or wrong that this is going to lead somewhere good. 